In this EngineYard Tech short film, we're going to show you how to use phpMyAdmin to manage your MySQL databases. Now, in your EYK cluster, assuming you've already got the database, we're going to walk through how to deploy the phpMyAdmin app in a container and show how you can connect to it. So here is our basic setup. Your EYK cluster runs inside of a VPC in the given region. Once you provision your MySQL database, it's inside that cluster. It likely does not have public connectivity, so you can't talk to it from your development workstation. What we'll do, though, is deploy a container with phpMyAdmin, and we can use it to connect and manage our database. So the nice thing is we don't have to actually install phpMyAdmin. There's already a Docker image set up for it, and we can simply use that. Even better, I've already got a GitHub project set up that you can use to deploy this, EngineYard MySQL-Admin. If you scroll down here, the readme has all of the instructions that we're gonna do. There's really just one environment variable, PMA underscore host, that you set up, and that's about it. I'm gonna clone that project. It is linked in the resources section of this video. And then go into there. I can show you the Docker file, which is quite simple. We're going to extend from that base image the PHP MyAdmin latest, expose port 80, the command actually is not used here because in EngineYard we specify the command in the proc file. If we scroll to the end of the Docker file, you can see here that it's got an entry point and a command. So in EYK, what we actually do is we move that over to the proc file. So in the proc file is the command to actually run our web application. To deploy this, I use EYK create. And now in the web console, I see my MySQL admin application. If I go into that, I can go to the config tab. And here I'll enter PMA underscore host as the key, and then copy in my database host name for the value. I'll say, yes, I want to save those changes. And so now my environment variable is set. At this point, all I need to do is do a git push EYK master. My application deployment finished. I can simply do EYK open, and then you can just log in with the database user that you created. In my case, it's the quiz user and the corresponding password. And here you can see I've got the quiz database, and here are the three tables. So these are the tables from our sample Ruby quiz application. If I go look at the questions, I can see here are the rows from my database. If you haven't used this application before, it's really pretty nice. I'll go ahead and click edit on this question row, and I'll say which really amazing investment is shown in the graph. We'll go ahead and we'll save that. And then we'll go to our application. And we should see that the question has been updated. And there you go, which really amazing investment. Well, that's it for this Engineer Tech Short. Hit subscribe to continue to get updates, and we'll see you next time.